according to my research, this lower line is the output. So I'll put the sensor on that. That way I get a better reading of what the temperature of the oil is inside the transmission, rather than the reading of the oil after it goes through the cooler. Spun that sideways to give it a little more room. I'm gonna put some wire loom on this these hoses at some point, but I still don't have the right size. I need something a little bigger. Since they rub on some places though, there's no wear marks or anything. I still want to be careful with that. And for the coolant sensor, I'm going to install the new one on the other side, since it looks like there was a plug over here. Needs an Allen. Um, I could reuse that old spot. Don't want to reuse the old sensor. I don't know if those are universal or not. And it's also 30 years old. Leaving this connected will uh, give me a redundancy as well, so I can have an extra gauge just in case. Okay, that just doesn't want to come out of there. I don't feel like forcing that any harder than I already am. So let's just find another spot. All right, I got this old thermal vacuum valve that used to go to the EGR system here. I'll probably pull that out and put that in there. It's place. Okay, I think it's gonna be this one. Yeah. Actually, it might be that one. Got them both taped up. Everything all taped up, ready to go. Okay, that's just about out of there. Let's get that to where I can take it out by hand. And I can do a switcheroo. Got about four feet of this 16 gauge wire for the signal. Going back to the gauge. Gotta put a couple ring connectors on there. Uh, kit comes with one ring connector. Gotta add the other one apparently, and no wire. So you gotta come up with some wire. So that'll go from the sensor to the gauge, and then the gauge will have a positive connection. It'll go up in there somewhere.
all that time cleaning this clamp, and I don't want to use it. It's a nice one. Tridion USA. That cleaned up a lot nicer than I was thinking. Let's just use a cheap hose clamp for this next step. Going to make a mounting bracket for these two gauges here since these mounting holes are a little hard to get to normally you would just take off this bracket install uh, the pod bracket the gauge holder Install that first underneath the dash and then put this on and do your connections behind it but I want to put them both on a mounting bracket there then I can have them both down at the same time make all the connections put it up and have an easy access uh, a couple spots for an easy access uh, for a couple screws Okay, now I can assemble everything while it's on my desk instead of trying to do it all behind uh, up under my dash.
Okay, I found a dash light connection. It goes to the dim dimmer knob. Okay, I got one of these splicers on there. Not the biggest fan of these, but they work good in tight spaces. They're quick. And uh, they don't fail too often. And not if you do it right. So let's run this down below. Oh no! I must have bumped that with the speedometer. And... Oh man, this stuff is just brittle. Holy crap. I guess I'm going to switch these up to LED. Alright, got our transmission sensor, coolant sensor, switched power, ground, and dome light. Do it for the connections. Let's do a quick power check. Check the lights. Um, it's cold, so the needles won't do too much, but they should jump a little bit. Yep, both jumped up. Let's check the lights. All right, got the lights. They dim. Put it on straight, I think. Put it over there. Actually, that's a good spot. Like that. I like it. It's a good spot. Step will be getting that cooling fan in there for the transmission, and then uh, help that cool down a little bit going up steep hills. My floor lights have uh, the same type of lens, so I was able to salvage one of those and fix that issue. Yeah, this gauge is 
probably going to read high for a little while until the thermostat opens. Coasting downhill in the first. Warming up there a little bit. That is awesome being able to see my transmission temperature. Just out of curiosity if anything else. I'm not so sure about the location of that sensor. It's uh, not reading the same as my stock gauge there. Alright, I don't know, 210 degrees does not seem quite accurate, but uh... I'll have to look that up to make sure I don't remember the normal running temps for the coolant. Transmission, that's what that's reading, 180, a little over 180. That's still reading normal like it normally does, the cooling, the big, uh, the cool down fans have not kicked in yet, so I know that's, if that's high, that's way off. Didn't seem too accurate though, main channel crap of course, but uh, well at least it'll be easy to switch them out for something else if these aren't going to uh, do the job. Actually, come to think of it, I remember seeing a little adjustment knob, or trim pot. <coughs> a little adjustable uh, Inside the light bulb holes. I think there's a way to adjust those. I'll have to uh, dig out the manual, which I think I threw away. 